Hey guys, for those of you having the same issue that I have with the uh, bushing on the Turbos wastegate on the KO3s or KO4s, if you don't have access to um, having it tack welded, this is something I came up with uh, which should be a good solution to keep that bushing from sliding back into the Turbos housing and preventing the wastegate from closing all the way. So I bought a threaded rod, it's a 10 slash 40 threaded rod. Uh, I also bought a one quarter inch by one quarter inch square key. Uh, this rod costs a dollar. The square key costs um, 69 cents. I basically bent the uh, threaded rod. I actually bought a spare just in case I messed up, but I bought, um, or I rather, I bent the, uh, the threaded rod around a one half inch drill bit and then took the square key, shaved it down to under six millimeters by just grinding down the surface over here, um, which is how, how thick at most this needs to be to go around that bushing and not interfere with the arm. So as you can see, if I put the caliper up to it, it measures exactly six millimeters. Um, it was a little bit thicker than that. Let's see if we go up to a quarter inch. Uh, so it was originally 0.25. I grinded it down to now 0.236, which is six millimeters. And that'll clear the bushings, or that, that'll clear the housing and the pivoting arm for the wastegate and got a couple of uh, 10 slash 40 nuts and some lock washers so basically you take it apart you put it around the shaft the bushing of the, the turbo and tighten up these nuts and that's going to keep that bushing from moving in place or moving out of place and uh, prevent your wastegate from not being able to fully close so with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the turbo and I'll take some videos and some pictures when it's installed. Oh, by the way, so even with buying some uh, spare, you know, spare rod, a couple of extra nuts and lock washers in case I lost them while trying to install them, all in all the parts came out to a whopping $3.86. So that should be a good solution um, and unless you have access to welding that bushing in place it prevents it from moving but this clamp should do the job okay let's go put it on all right guys so you can, as you can see i've got the uh, the clamp around the bushing um there's definitely no chance of that bushing or the arm hitting the the bushing over here now because the bushing is actually loose it it will spin around with the clamp because the bushing itself is losing the housing, but the clamp is tight on the bushing, so there's no way the bushing can slide back in toward uh, the housing and keep uh, and allow the uh, the arm to slide back in. So even though it can rotate around over here, it's got it's actually pretty tight. Um, the arm can still move around freely and close the wastegate with no problem. That's open. That'll be wastegate closed. Bushing's in place, and uh, there's enough of a gap between the bar over here and the arm so even if this bar rotated down for whatever reason just from a uh, you know operation uh, it'll still clear the arm and not have any contact between the arm and this clamp that I made so that's on I'll put everything back together and drive the car probably report back in a thousand miles and uh, hopefully this holds and keeps that wastegate closed like it needs to be thanks